yeah, it's it's not a fast car. That's kind of not what this car is about. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a Toyota 86 with the TRD package. So this is a little bit different than the Hakone edition that we did earlier in the year, and I probably just mispronounced that. But anyways, as always, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Toyota here in Murray for providing us with this 86 TRD. Check out their return the link below. Let's just get right into it. So under the hood of the Toyota 86, we have a boxer four cylinder that is two liters. It goes through a six speed manual transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 28 in the highway. Power outputs are 205 horsepower and then 156 pound feet of torque with a zero to 60 time of roughly right around six seconds. Now let's go over the front end on the TRD 86. So the hood is pretty much unchanged from any other 86 or well BRZ for that sake and same with the lights and they still got a little 86 logo there on the side of the light now coming down to the fog lights again that's all the same the biggest difference you're gonna notice is the front splitter and it actually does say TRD on it right there the front splitter is definitely a lot bigger so that is gonna help out with downforce on the front end and it also makes it look a little bit more aggressive coming around the side here we've got two 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch rims and and yes, you do get Brembo brakes with this TRD package and the tire rim setup in the back is identical. Now notice that this just looks a little bit different kind of with some uh, sort of side skirt action going on, not too aggressive. You do get kind of like the TRD emblem here on the side as well. And then other than that, the rest of the side, I mean, it's relatively unchanged compared to any other 86, but still looks cool. Here's the key fob for the TRD. You have a couple of functions. You've got the lock at the top, the unlock, and then the release of the trunk. There is no remote start because it's, well, manual transmission. And then you got a Toyota logo on the back. But if we hold this open, that'll open up the trunk and we'll take a quick look into there. So notice the trunk space. I mean, for being such a small car, the opening is actually pretty good. And then the space is relatively good. You can fold down the set or the well the back seats and that'll give you a little bit of extra storage and then there's this little loop that you can pick up and that'll reveal the spare tire which is also well it's probably a Prius tire coming to the rear there are a few changes that are subtle and then also not so subtle so you guys can kind of see the spoiler here this is kind of more on the subtle side because it's pretty small spoiler taillights all that is the same and then notice that you do get the kind of like diffuser action here that comes with the TRD kit and it also says TRD right there TRD exhaust and you guys will get a clip of a startup and a couple revs so you can kind of hear the difference between that and then you can compare that to a stock one but yeah other than that that is well pretty much everything for the back now coming to the side here we do have Kia Sentry so just touch that and it'll unlock it now opening up we're gonna look at the door panel here on the front and then we are gonna head to the back seats first before we go the front seats but here is what the door panel looks like so you've got the alcantara there at the top and then you've got the leather down here i like the contrast with the red and the black i think it's a really cool look and then this is just kind of like hard touch but it's just kind of there for design purposes and then you got all your regular window controls right there in that little area you guys can see the uh, red seat belt for the front passenger and the back passengers well, they get black seat belts, but here are the seats in the back. They're really small, but they still have the red stitching. They are full cloth seats. And I mean, if you don't have legs, you can fit back here pretty comfortably. But if you're a regular human being with legs, then, well, these seats are, yeah, they're really small. But you could like lay across it kind of, but then there's also that that gets in the way. But you also can kind of fold them back. And so, uh, yeah, it's it's confusing. Now, before we pop in, let's take a look at the front seats here. So they've got like the full black. They have like the leather on the outside, but the inside is cloth. And then they have like all the red piping, which is pretty neat. They are manually adjustable. They did a really good job with the look at the pedals. I mean, they just have a really nice aesthetic look to them. They got the release for the trunk and then the uh, steering wheel but there's one more look before we actually hop in now starting off the 86 is really easy you just have to uh, actually push in the clutch and then you can press the starter you don't have to put your foot on the brake at all just the clutch and well everything will pop on so here's the steering wheel on the 86 and it says the 86 in the center got red at the top and at the bottom as well and then you got controls like the center stack your volume controls all that kind of stuff that is pretty normal i like the feel of the steering wheel i'll talk about this more on the driving portion but it is kind of like heavier with the steering definitely has a really nice feel to it and then you've got the stock for the lights and then the stock for the windshield wipers here's the gauge cluster it's definitely a little bit more on the analog side but i think it's a pretty cool aesthetic overall just kind of like the old school look you've got speed over 
on the left side in the middle you've got the rpms and you actually can scroll through a couple of menus over there on that side so you can see like fuel economy all that kind of stuff so pretty normal setup with most cars and yeah let's go with the backup camera and you think it's going to pop up there but no it actually pops up here so it is in the mirror resolution on it is pretty good hopefully you guys can see it sorry it just keeps wanting to not focus but yeah resolution on it is okay it would just be nicer if it was in the infotainment system itself and that's the backup camera the infotainment system just kind of looks like an aftermarket unit and i'm assuming that it is but yeah it's it's okay it'd be cooler if toyota though put like their actual heads up unit in it now down here we've got the climate controls it is a dual zone climate in the 86 and yeah other than that it's pretty easy to use analog climate controls you got the engine stop start button down here little thing for the USB. And then here's the shifter for the six speed manual. Again, I'll talk about this in the driving portion, but the throws are really nice on the shifter, really easy to use. And then coming down here, we have the stability control and the stability control, you've got like the two functions. You have the regular one and then you have like the track one. So it'll just kind of determine how much the computers will intervene in the car itself. And then you got the little e-brake here with the red stitching couple of cup holders and some storage here with a little 12 volt that hides behind there and then finally we've got the glove box over here in this little area which is again pretty easy to use storage space on it's good and got more alcantara with the trd badging up there you guys already saw the mirror with the backup camera regular roof you cannot get a sunroof for this that just wouldn't make sense in a car like this but you've got the little visors and all that in terms of headroom if you're wondering it's pretty good actually i mean it's you could fit like a relatively tall person in here well now that we have gone over this trd package let's quickly go over pricing so this particular trd package with all the options it has stickers for about thirty-three thousand dollars before any type of market adjustment that all being said let's take this trd 86 out and see how she drives about visibility here in the trd86 before we set off so visibility over the hood the hood goes down abruptly and i also forgot to mention there's more alcantara here but yeah it's really easy to see out the front out the sides it's actually pretty easy to see out of as well there's your view through the other side and then through the rear this is where things are a little bit cramped so that side is kind of difficult but the back the window is actually really big so it's easy to see out the back it's just the side right there and well let's set off i'm setting off here in the 2020 toyota 86 and sorry if it's a little bit noisy but this uh car is noisy which is pretty cool this is kind of like just like such an analog sports car and i'm sitting up so high this is so uncomfortable so i gotta i gotta pump the seat down get an arm workout here during the review guys um but so far the actual ride quality itself it's surprisingly smooth i expected it to ride a little bit rougher for what it is but it's really smooth which i'm impressed with in terms of the noise though you hear quite a bit from the exhaust you hear quite a bit from the road in general and so from like a noise perspective it's not comfortable but from like a ride quality perspective it's very comfortable and we're taking our first turn here so i'm kind of tell you guys about the steering so the steering is um, a little bit on the heavier side but it has a very nice feel to it like it just it's relatively direct now it's not the most direct um it definitely has just like a slight amount of play with it um that being said though it definitely has a ton of feel so you you can feel pretty much everything that's happening in the road where it's happening and you don't get that in a lot of steering racks nowadays with the electronic assistance they might be a little bit more direct than this but you don't get the same feel if that makes sense and the next thing i want to talk about is this transmission it is just phenomenal the throws on it are perfect it's so easy to get in gear the clutch engagement is really good it's very easy to match with the rpms so this doesn't have auto blip or anything like that but it doesn't need it this boxer four cylinder is really good with just matching and so 
just this transmission and the engine and all that kind of stuff so far really good now we will talk about things once we do the acceleration but like just from like a fun perspective this is really fun to drive and actually really engaging as well we are going to get our acceleration here we're in second gear by the way so yeah <laughs> it's it's not a fast car that's kind of not what this car is about i wish that they'd put a turbocharger sling in that which i have heard rumors that they might end up doing that but yeah that's really the only downfall of this car the handling on this car is great the feeling of the clutch engagement and the manual transmission everything the steering all of that is great it just it doesn't have a lot of power like it's so much fun to drive but then the second that you floor it not a lot happens and then you're just like uh but it's, again, it's still a fun car, so like, if you're like driving down a canyon, you could have a, fun, a ton of fun with it. But driving up the canyon, you might not have as much fun because you might get passed by a pre, no, I'm just kidding. But let's get into summing things up with this 86 TRD. So, I actually like the sound of it. I think it has a pretty good sound. I, I do like the sound of flat fours in general. I know that's a little bit controversial for some people, but I think it's a pretty good sounding engine. And certain exhausts, if you don't do too crazy with it, they can sound pretty good without sounding too ricey, if that makes sense. Um, but ride quality on this, like I said, is pretty smooth for what it is. It is a little bit on the loudier, louder side. I always said loudier. The rev matching again, like, it just rev matches so perfectly. It makes you feel like you're a better driver than you are. And I just, I think this is a good package for a sports car. I just, I really wish that Toyota and Subaru would just release a more powerful engine. I mean, that's, that's all that I ask for. The transmission, you don't need to change anything. Just give this car a little bit more power. And this would literally be one of the best sports cars, especially for its price range. I mean, if this was still under $40,000, it would be hands down the best sports car that you could buy for under $40,000, as long as it had at least like 300-ish horsepower. That's, that's all it needs is about 300 horsepower and keep the weight the same, okay? And there we have it, everyone, the 2020 Toyota 86 with the TRD package. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray for providing us with this TRD 86. Check out the inventory link below. I will see all of you in that next video.